Hello everyone, thank you for joining me here. My name is Mr. Mokolover and let us continue our game. So last time, actually you didn't know this, but last time the game crashed on me so I kind of know what's to be expected. So, uh, last time we had some imperial restructuring of everything, as far as I remember. Uh, yeah, just kind of getting ready for France to potentially come and try to kill me. Trying to build up a lot of forts here, which is good as well. Um, yeah, so let's just continue. We want to take out Moldavia, though, and eat their factories. Oh, there goes Lithuania. And the game will probably lag when the Commune of France liberates its puppets. And that'll be a great thing, which is probably happening right now. So, our goal... Oh, no. Oh, oh, actually, last time I did this, they liberated the Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania, but now they've released... Baltic Union, you look kind of kind of scary. German majority. All right, well that's certainly interesting. Last time we did not do that. Uh, France declared war on Morocco. Let's see, Kaunas. That's actually probably a good idea for them. This way, the entire country gets all the manpower. Also, let's see. You're still ten divisions. I need to put you. Into here, put you all under that group. Make sure you get done as soon as possible. And we really, really, really. I'm making panzers. Oh, I need to make some panzers. We need about 18, 9, make it two groups. Uh, set it to, you know, set it to low for now. But you, like, here. Alright, anyways, we really, really, really need uh, reinforcements for everything, so. And actually, you all don't have any manpower left. That's not you. Bosna, that's you. Uh, we could probably get rid of this. Improve this situation a little bit more for now. Over this. Let us, we could approach Greece. Ooh, but factories would be really good as well. Skoda might be really good as well, actually. Let's do Skoda, since we're already researching medium tanks. Alright. The town was annexed. And we want to annex Bohemia as fast as we can. If you haven't noticed, the game is already uh, froze, as probably France is liberating some more puppets. Any day now. There we go. Not that. I need this one. Yeah, Bohemia is almost done. We're building some land forts. Properly built some land forts here. Looks like the line's probably going to get extended. And let's make sure we're actually building our country up as well. So let's, let's build up that civilian uh, factory. Two of them. As we're finishing up some factories here. Alright, any day now we could probably declare war on uh, Moldavia. Recon Mountaineer. Prerequisites. Movement bonus on land. So they do move faster, which could be good. Trenchment speed. Do have enough command power. He's got two slots. Panzer. Organizer, which could be good. Engineer would be okay. Infantry leader, which is good. Invader, nope. Nope. Skilled staffer. Ah, we might as well use improvisation expert, why not? Oh, it could do guerrilla fighter as well. But that's okay. Right now, we're just trying to finish off everything that we have. I did mess this up a little bit. Uh, I think I'm getting yeah aluminum from Bulgaria. And I decided to get some Russian tungsten as well. Good, good, good. Alright. Supplies. Looking okay. Fighters. We definitely need more fighters. Yeah, I'll do that. Put you underneath. That'll be good. Motorized. You could probably increase that eventually. 
We said, oh, we can't deploy because we don't have enough manpower. Well, isn't that crappy? We most definitely need more manpower. Oh, Empire Japan declared war on Chinese Germany. Am I still recruiting? No, I'm not recruiting my own boys anymore. Yeah, that'd be good. This will give us a little bit more men. Maybe I could put some on the ship. How many men do you need? 3,500, my god. That's a lot of guys, so... Don't have the manpower for it just yet. Not just yet. But when I annex... Oh! Germany's here! Hi, right, Germany and the Rhenish Socialist Republic. Disgusting. Absolutely filthy. Now we're just kind of waiting for France to declare war on us. And if they finish off Poland and the Ukraine, we're going to be literally surrounded on one, two, three-ish sides. Or if you want to count north, south, west, and east. Oy. You... Put me in deficit? No, it better not. Alright then. Any day now, we will be able to, to declare war on the Moldavians for two weeks. Two weeks. So far, this is looking pretty good. Oh, Morocco is gone. Good lord, I could use more manpower. Oh, Moravia. How's your manpower, Bohemia? Do you have any manpower left? You do have some. So we're literally just waiting for equipment. Which I desperately need a lot more of. Ooh, direct ground support's finished. Uh, 1942. Let's get some research time going. Daily political power gain. Power gain. Karl Vogon. Vogon. Power gain. I gotta replace him with someone else to give me more political power. 0.5. We already get this 0 0.05. Nope. Nope. Well, it really doesn't look like it. What about you? You get us quite a bit less political power gain. And more trade options. This gives you more. We get more political power. That's actually really good. You know what? Even though we get... A, oh, Muscat. Bonus to civilian and military construction speeds. I think I need more political power, in all honesty. What is that? Max planning. Ooh, army experience daily. That's really good. Yeah, just more political power would be good. Alright. Well then. Not really much I can do. Finishing a lot of our puppet's forts, which is really good. Looks like we got another civilian economy. Or, I keep saying economy, but you know. Civilian factory. Nice. Let's go ahead and go to war. Do this real quick. Alright. Finish off the war. Pretty quickly. Airports. Can I put any planes in here? No, not really. Not enough to really make a difference. And we could do better river attacks. Yeah, why not? Different advantage. Hold the bridge. You know, we'll accept uh, resources from our puppets. Very good. You can go ahead and move this direction. They got their airport. Base. 4,000 guys dead. Ooh, Skoda's done. Uh, we need this one instead. Let's see. Uh, put up Bohemia. That'd be good. Alright. 
guys are leaving. And this supports this ideology, which is fine. We don't mind that ideology, because actually our leader is part of it. Ooh, now do I liberate these guys or take the political power hit? If I take the hit now, I won't need them later. There you go. Do I liberate them? Which will not reduce this, or my stability, or my war support. Which will cost me 300 political power in the future. And do I lose my factories? I lose a little bit of factories, which isn't good. Let's see. Becomes a puppet of the... David becomes a puppet of the Austrian Empire. Uh, let's do that. It's always helpful to have more manpower and whatnot, so... And it won't hurt my political power at the moment. But we do have a new Romanian regime. What will we do with them? So... Uh, let's see. The first option is to invite well-known socialite Antoine Bebesco to rural Romania. He is a grandson of the last ruler of Wallachia, and as such bears the title of prince. Since he lacks a real power base, he would be a loyal ally, but still gives some legitimacy to a new regime. The other option is the former regent of Romania, Prince Nicolas, to form a government. The younger brother of Crown Prince Carol was refused to rule as a puppet king. Under the former military regime, Nicholas' position as regent was already nothing more than a puppet, so it is expected he won't cause any trouble while still normally continue the rule of the Hohenzollern dynasty. A republic? King. Hmm. Well, he is a part of Hohenzollerns, and everyone knows he's already a puppet. Uh, his name is Prince, so let's go with the Prince. So, we didn't take the hit to uh, political power or stability, or war support, which is good. And this gives him quite a bit of uh, manpower to work with. For the king, that's good. Now, he has a generic focus tree, which is fine. He can actually expand his military quite a bit if he needs to. And that just gives us another ally in our faction. You will be placed... Oh, let's put you at the border of Greece, just in case. Tungsten. Oh, Russia, you are out of tungsten. Good agree. Very good so far. We did lose a few factories, unfortunately. But, oh well. Life happens. Guns are good. Oh, we need a lot of motorized now. Motorized and storage from new deployments. Cannot deploy. My god, we need more manpower. Which will help when we get Bohemian divisions and then delete them. Battleship 2 is very good. We need guns. How's this looking? It's looking okay. Ooh, fleet and being. Oh. Oh, there went Poland. Oh boy. Fleet and being is done. Let's get some artillery next. Wow, this is not looking good. Uh oh. Don't crash. Don't crash. Yay! Oh, actually, wow, the Polish Socialist Republic took back Danzig. I was not expecting that. And this is getting more and more worrisome every single time they uh, liberate a group of people. Because now actually I have to extend my line here. I don't think I have enough divisions over here, actually. Uh, let's see, just go ahead and deploy this one. Cancel you. Uh, you know what? Uh, cancel that one as well. Join them. Who's justifying against us? Greece? Wait, oh, you're justifying against... Ooh, I could get Greece underneath. That might be a good idea. To have Greece hit within, in our alliance. Ooh, two Sicilies is getting hit, though. From Italy, but through Sicily. Okay. Air Force Reform. You're fighting them all by yourself. Man, that's... Just got a little bit of manpower left. And unlimited can... Or volunteer only. Wow. So 
So, Kingdom of Romania has returned. Ah, uh, Nikolai the First. So, Belo Russia and Ukraine are all that's left of Middle Europa. God, we do live in some certainly interesting times. At least my oil secure over here. Instruction, we are finishing up our puppets. Uh ports, which is great. We have a reduced penalty so we can get some modern tanks. Got a lot of guns. Oh, we need some more motorized. Oh, we lost that. That's right. Uh, let's see. Get you up here. Make at least one. That'd be good. Anything else? Cannot deploy. Alright, Greece, make us, fight us. Show me what you got. Yeah, we were literally have to fight on every, on the entire border here to fight the Commune of France, which is honestly a little intimidating, as well as down here. But Italy shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be. It's a key word, shouldn't be. God, I need to go to service by requirement. I, ca I do kind of wish I could just, like, annex, like, my puppets using a focus, like, Bohemia. We they've been integrated, they've been, we've been trying to Germanize the area for a long time, so they've been integrated, or something like that. Be kind of nice. Oh, yeah. I still have Azerbaijan. I gotta just request them. Nope, never mind. I don't have any forces to that I could use. All right, people, come on, give me more. I need more uh, stuff. I need more artillery pieces, support equipment. This is not going to go well. All right, then we have Austria to defend as well. Well, let's at least build this up as well, I suppose. Since if the Ukraine falls, then... Uh, it'll be hard to defend. Actually, it won't be too hard to defend, especially if Russia's on their border as well. Oh, the Russians... You definitely need more soldiers, my gosh. BVSR office. Moon National Planning School, that's good. You still have quite a bit of manpower. You're still on total mobilization, which is good. Greece. Screen ships. How much longer? 100 days, alright. Destroyer 2s are done. Good. Anything else for this? Ooh, yeah. Let's get some of that going. Honestly, I'm just kind of waiting for someone to declare war on me. We're good. More uh, military factories approaching Greece. It, we might be able to puppet them. That would be really, really good. So let's try that. Manage subjects. I really want. I really, really want Bohemia. And uh, some, get more civilian factories, more military factories. And uh, let's see. Any supplies? Ooh, Calcutta's been seized. Since resources, they have some steel, that's it. That's kind of disappointing. Population. About 5 million, 7 million makes it... About eh, a little less than 10 million, probably. Or so. 10 million or less. God. Just inflict as many casualties as possible on these people. Let's take a look at our, the current wars. British, Central American, British, Ost. British, Deutsch, Ost, Asiat War. 86,000 casualties. Uh, wow, they've taken so many. Holy crap. Let's see, anything else? Burma, Japanese War. 
British Central American. All right, so they've lost honestly not that many in this war. What's their manpower like? That's my country, Germany. You don't have that many men right now. Wow, you still have a lot, and you're only on service by requirement. Jesus. Oh, they still have quite a bit. The UK, or the former UK, has quite a bit as well. Oh my gosh, this war is going to be just killer. These divisions are only 20 width divisions. Just build these forts as fast as you can, my gosh. I could attack now. Oh, maybe not. And not all my divisions are ready to go. Really, Shringle? Yeah. We might be able to... Algiers is gone. Oh. Canada's here. Germans are there. Yeah, well, using our tanks, we might be able to break through and take out Italy first, and then go through southern France. Should be a good thing. Oh, oh, there went China. Wow. Russia, I need you to build more divisions quicker. You will, you will die if you don't. <laughs> oh, this is not looking good. This is really not looking good. That's okay. Come on, how many more? How much more equipment do I need? I need so much manpower. Over here, you need you need more manpower, so you know what? Let's reduce this to three, so that'll help your manpower needs. You need more equipment. You need more equipment. You need more equipment, of course. Equipment. Equipment. And you need a lot of everything. You just in case they attack. Uh, six divisions. It's not very much. And the Russians don't have very much at all. They have ten divisions. I could just poop out some more divisions right now. But that means I need to train them. And actually, I need to train all these guys. Oh my gosh. I mean, my Austria will be fine, hopefully. Just need to build, 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 build. Uh, throw in... Put that at the bottom. Throw in what? Throw in another thing of military factories. We don't have enough. We just don't have enough. Need some destroyers as well. How about you? Do you have any forces you could we could request? You have one. Well, ain't that great? 18 width division. That's so great. Austrian Theater 2, that's against these guys. Every single spot looks like it has. Wait, why isn't this moved up a little further? Seriously, you got you have literally eight, six divisions around here. Uh, we could probably edit that. Wait, let's just let's just redeploy you here. Oh wait, because oh that made that screwed everything else up. Yeah. Excuse us, yeah. Well, let's just make a fallback line. No. They really need to update this game so that you can make a line uh, or you know a command line that attacks multiple countries at a time. I'm really surprised I haven't done that yet. Yeah, you might as well do this all the way around. Like there. Maybe even up to here. That will probably be necessary. 
All right. Go ahead. Wow. Redeploy yourselves. And that should give us a fighting chance against the hordes of syndicalists. Oh, they canceled their lend lease with us. It's fine, I guess. Ooh, modern tanks. That's good to have. We've got modern tanks done. Let's see, 1942. Research. Could extract some more. But we don't really need to do that. Two. Artillery. No. Entrenchment might be good. Infantry. Ooh, heart attack and piercing. Let's do that. Make sure everyone's perfectly entrenched. Cancel their lend with us as well. 145 more days until our deficit's gone. Motorized. 460 days. Support equipment's 264. Wow. Keep building, people. Actually, we could probably request a couple more armies as well. Let's see, you're over here. And you will need to defend our border. By border, I mean over here in the Caucasus and Russia. Romania, do you have any forces I could use? Illyria, since we're already defending you. Serbia. Good. Uh, Hungary. We need... Yeah, nine's a good number. Your goal is to defend here. Because let's assume that the Ukraine is going to die. And Russia won't be able to defend itself. Go ahead and move that direction. If anyone over here? Nope. No commanders. Oh, I can finally annex uh, Bohemia. Or not. Where is it? Oh. Oh, we can't... We can't annex them. Are you kidding me? I spent all that time trying to annex Bohemia. Now I've got all this political power and I can't do it. Lesson learned. You cannot annex them. Cannot be annexed. Cannot be annexed. Well then. I might be able to annex Italy. If there's anyone I need to annex. Could be Serbia. Because they're really just within my lands. Uh, Central Asian Federation might be good to annex, just to get rid of them. But I don't have enough political power to do it anyways. Let's get rid of you, because we don't really need you here. Air Doctrine, Research Times. That might be good. We don't need Land Doctrine, obviously. We could do Air Doctrine, Research Times, as well as Air Research Times goes down. Hmm... Yeah, that sounds like a good idea to me. But let's, before we do that, anything else here? Production goes up. Light tank production goes down. Armor research time. Motorize. Artillery. This would just help you with more defense, more soft attack, but not actual production. Production, no, no. Nope. Nope. Production for subs goes down. Military staff. Defense, probably more defense and less supply consumption. Or organization and less supply consumption. Division defense, attrition, and entrenchment speed. Division attack, armor. So more defense and less supply consumption. Division attack, defense. Or more defense and less supply consumption. Consumption, consumption. I like the consumption one. Uh, you're already busy being a general, so I'll put you under Bayer. Chief of Navy. And we'll switch you to Air Doctrine Research Timeless. We can switch you to someone else. 
Limited exports, so we can build things faster. How's my uh, consumer goods? You know what? We might just be able to do that. Let's get out of closed economy, so we have limited exports. So we get more factory output, more dockyard, more construction speed, and less research times. That should be good. Should be a good idea. Uh, but land doctrine, darn it. We could use more exports. We could use more output as well, though. Hmm. 5% output for a potential penalty to factory output. But we can always get more resources. And that would damage our air superiority. Hmm. I, th I say output would be worth it. Just a little bit of output up towards everything is good. Alright. So, so now we're lacking in steel. Poland, Rhenish, Alun, Hawaii, actually Central Asian Federation, that'd be good. Use them. So that, that covers us. Oh, yeah, and modern tanks. Oh, we need more XP to do that. Let's not make modern tanks yet. Let us duplicate these and then end our game. Edit. Uh, we'll call this Kaiser Panzer the Second. Kaiser, Panzer, the third. This will be all modern tanks. Three. More weight, more supply use, but that's okay. And I can't afford that. Which we'll fix up some other time. So guys, hope you enjoy this episode. Uh, we're just watching uh, former Metal European faction people die. And yeah, uh, not much else has gone on. So, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Hope you leave a like. Hope you subscribe. And hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.